Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. MiHoYo has announced the Spark Knight Cleese rerun banner and I wanted to weigh in on how she has aged in today's meta compared to the other 5 star characters and to also present you guys with some reasons to pull for her and also some reasons why you might want to pass on her. The first and most important thing to note is that she's absurdly cute. By far the cutest character in all of Genshin Impact. That's it, end of story. Now in terms of actual gameplay, Klee is exceptional for world exploration and is one of the best characters for that. Her All My Treasures passive indicates where all local Mondstadt items are on the minimap and she is also a pyro bomb user. As such, she can break ores, break electro crystals, break all forms of miniature shields, burn dendro thingies, light torches and dragon spine to prevent you from freezing to death, and allows you to farm these ice flower things. On top of all of this, she is still a top tier DPS and a great battery for your entire team. Klee is still my go to pyro character for the overworld due to all the versatilities mentioned. Next let's talk about power creep and Klee. There are only a few characters that can be considered better than Klee in terms of raw damage output. Those characters are Ganyu, Hu Tao, Yula, and Xiao, all of which are newer 5 star DPS characters. Unfortunately, we're clearly seeing a pattern here, and we can expect all future 5 star DPS characters to output more and more damage than Klee can. Future 5 star DPS characters will continue this trend and thus continue to power creep Klee. And what if another 5 star pyro DPS character comes out? Well, Klee will probably be pushed even further down in terms of her DPS ranking. Regardless, Klee is still an exceptional main DPS and even while a bit power crap, she is more than capable of handling any content that isn't excessively resistant to pyro damage. In my humble opinion, she is still the 5th best DPS character in the game. And despite being power crept in terms of raw DPS output, there are still many situations where Klee is still the ideal choice. Let's talk about support characters for Klee. Klee is extremely compatible with some of the best supports in the entire game, namely Venti, Mona, and Bennett. She is the only main DPS pyro character who can draw the maximum potential of all three of these support characters. Unlike the other top tier pyro DPSs in the game, Klee is the only one who can consistently do massive AoE damage to a bunch of enemies stuck in Venti's tornado. Klee's charged attacks, jumpy dumpties, and burst all obliterate everything in Venti's tornado. Deluxe normal attacks usually whiff, Yanfei's charged attacks are too flat so they only hit the ground, and Hu Tao's charged attacks also whiff. So Klee is actually the only pyro DPS that can fully synergize with Venti, and we all know how busted Venti is. On top of this, Klee is an amazing enabler for Mona. Being unique in the ability to lay mines to apply pyro beforehand, and thus to allow Mona to burst earlier and more effectively in many scenarios. When it comes to Bennett, although Deluc and Yanfei don't have the following problem, Hu Tao actually does not synergize with Bennett, since Hu Tao needs to stay under 50% HP and Bennett heals like a madman. Klee, in contrast, has no issues working with Bennett. As such, Klee is the only pyro DPS to fully be compatible with Bennett, Venti, and Mona. The next negative I wanted to talk about is how clunky Klee can be. Now this can actually be seen as both a negative and a positive, but in order to draw out Klee's full potential, you need to animation cancel. Without animation cancels, Klee feels very clunky to use. This is due to a few reasons. But one of them is that she's basically a melee character with how short ranged her charge attacks are. Her 3 string normal basic attack is very slow and suboptimal for her DPS. They also limit Klee's mobility. Finally, she is very squishy and has no super armor at all, thus making her clunkiness deadly at times. As such, in order to draw out Klee's potential, hop cancels, walk cancels, normal charge attack cycles, jumpy burst animation cancels are all needed to draw out the full potential of Klee. And if you enjoy high mechanical ceiling characters, Klee is great for you. But if you don't want to play a character that requires all this stuff to bring out their max potential, Klee is probably not a good choice for you. Also keep in mind that even with animation cancels, 
Klee's charge attacks eat through tons of stamina extremely quickly, and this leads to her being able to dash less in comparison to other non-stamina dependent characters, and thus making her even more clunky as a result. Surprisingly, Klee can be considered kind of free to play friendly. Currently, Klee does not have a 5 star weapon that's leagues ahead of her other weapon options, like the Amos Bow for Gan Yu or the Staff of Homa for Hu Tao. On top of this, the new event 4 star catalyst that's coming in 1.6 is likely going to be an exceptional weapon on Klee, and everyone will be able to get it to refinement 5, completely for free. If I had to guess, the upcoming catalyst might be only a little worse than a refinement 1 Skyward Atlas, but of course that is purely speculation at the moment, so please take that with a huge grain of salt. Also, Klee's constellations, while very good, aren't as broken as Gan Yu's, Xiao's, and Yula's. Klee's constellations, while all good, are a far cry from the insane power gained from Constellation 6 on the aforementioned characters, and as such, a free-to-play Klee at Constellation 0 isn't missing out on as much as a Constellation 6 Yula is, for example. Surprisingly, Klee's Constellation 1 can actually hurt her performance. If you like playing Klee with Xing Chu, her Constellation 1 will often ruin her vape combos. However, I've always been an advocate for raw pyro damage, because if you use jumpies in her burst, you won't be able to vaporize her charge attacks with Xing Chu anyway, and a ton of Klee's DPS comes from her jumpy dumpties and burst. Regardless, if you do like using Klee with Xing Chu, Klee's Constellation 1 can often ruin her vape combos, so do keep that in mind. Klee is actually a great support character, especially at Constellation 2. There are many combos that utilize the fact that Klee is a Pyro Catalyst user and can lower defenses at Constellation 2. Just by being a Pyro Catalyst user, she can provide 73% attack due to the thrilling tales of Dragon Slayers and the Pyro Resonance. On top of that, at Constellation 2, Klee has access to the very rare Defense Shred, which can amplify damage by quite a lot. Of course, even without Constellation 2, Klee can still provide that 73% attack, which is very powerful. So now let's summarize Klee's pros and cons. But before that, if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to see new character showcases, DPS showdowns, and more. It's the best and free way that you can support my channel. To summarize her pros, she is the cutest character in the game. She is amazing for overworld exploration. She has perfect synergy with Venti, Mona, and Bennett, who are three of the best support characters in the game. She has high mechanical skill ceiling, which is great for those players that like that type of stuff, and she's still a top tier main DPS character. The new event Catalyst also looks like it's tailor-made for her, and Klee is actually a top tier support character, especially at Constellation 2. Too. And lastly, Klee can do barrel rolls. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! For her cons, Klee is very squishy and is also a melee range character, which often doesn't mix well. Klee as a main DPS is very mediocre without animation cancels. And Klee is also very clunky without animation cancels. She's also very stamina hungry and Klee has been power crept in terms of raw damage output. Finally, her Constellation 1 can ruin synergy with Xing Chu, and last but not least, she has a very bad B hop. So overall, I think Klee is an amazing and extremely reliable main DPS character that I frequently still use, despite having the other top 4 DPS characters. Klee's versatility and well-rounded kit will find a place in anyone's roster. However, now there are many characters that can directly compete for her roles, such as Yanfei, Deluc, and Hu Tao. And Klee's damage output is likely to get further power crept as new 5-star DPS characters are released. What do you think about Klee? Will you be pulling for her in her rerun banner? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Want to Lose, signing out.